Hello guys, welcome back to another Tiger Q-tip of the month and today I'm going to demonstrate the, the, the long distance draw shot. So I've set up a situation here, what, what you see a lot in, in, uh, in real life games. So this is the eight ball, it's half a diamond off from the middle diamond and the cue ball from this middle diamond, a diamond across in line with this diamond here so everything's bang straight. And I see this situation so many times, and this is the object ball. So I've got to get the white ball back to this rail here. So timing and speed control is very important. And this is something I have in my practice regime all the time. So I'll play, replay 10 or 15 of these shots before I even start practicing to make sure that that there's, that I'm, I'm in good stroke and there's, and, and there's no faults in my stroke. Where if I just throw the balls out onto the table and start hitting balls and not not uh, feeling good, then you, you, you're not sure what you're doing wrong and what is wrong with your stroke. So it's very important to get everything in uh, shape before you go into your practice session. And again, this type of shot, this is where you're going to have total trust in your tip. And in my case, the sniper, because the, the tip's probably more important than the shaft. If, if your tip's no good, you're wasting your time playing it because you're just not going to be able to control the cue ball and put it exactly where you want to put it. So again, tip, timing on this type of shot is everything. And the key is that I see so many amateurs, they're trying to hit just below centre of the white ball and trying to hit the ball too hard and forcing the ball to go in. So what happens there is that they end up jerking, lifting up, they miss the ball left and right. And even if they make it, the white ball sort of stops dead or just comes back a foot, which is no good with, with where the nine ball is. So the key is to it as low as you can on the cue ball we are in the cloth, because 99% of the missed cues is the player's fault and not their tip or their chart, which usually they blame. So as long as you've got a decent tip on, a uh, good chart, and you, you time the ball properly, hit the cue ball before the cloth, you will not miss cue. So also what, what else I do, <coughs> For me personally, what works is that I have my hand in the middle of this first diamond here. So it's a diamond down from the middle and just come across my hand like this. The reason why, because if my hand's here, I just can't get through the cue ball because I, I run out of cue. So I just don't get the same reaction on the, the object ball. When my hand's too close, I get trapped. So when I come back, the uh, cue is going to come out of my hand. So And also you just get very stabby. So it's very important, if you've got a little fault with your game, just go back to the basics. So we'll we'll give it a go. Right and guys, let's give it a go. And it's also very important to get your line and your stance right. I see so many players that they're off balance, their left foot's over there, right foot's over there, or they get crunched over the ball. So there's no time in the end of jerking the ball, missing it left and right. So in my opinion, you want your right and your left foot pointing all towards the target. I have the, the cue down the right hand side of my leg, and then all I do then is, is just step into the shot. So it's like a, maybe like a boxing stance or like a walking stance. So pick out your line, step into it with your left foot. And if you can, try and follow the object ball to the pocket with your highs. If you do that, you'll make a higher percentage of these type of shots. There you go. I would have liked the cue ball a little bit closer to the rail, uh, but I'm still confident that I can make that nine ball. And again, uh, just hardly hit the ball, and that's the key. Hitting low, driving through the white ball, and if you do that, you'll make a lot higher percentage of these type of shots. So that's my cue tip of the month, and I'll see you next time.